<clears throat> Mr. Castang, um, Susan Klein had a ZJ Jeep Grand Cherokee. She did not have a tow package. She did not, have, did not have what? She did not have a tow package on the car. Mr. Castang, um, Susan Klein had a ZJ Jeep Grand Cherokee. She did not have a tow package. She did not, have, did not what? She did not have a tow package on the car. She did not have a reinforcing bracket described by Mr. Estes, the pictures of which we showed you, uh, which have been marked. Except 15. I believe it was 15. What are we up to? 16. 16. Um, she did not have a skid plate uh, covering her tank. She did not have a blocker bracket. Can you tell me what, if anything, protected her fuel tank in a rear end collision with under ride from a passenger vehicle? Check to the form. Check to form and foundation. He's not a reconstructionist. He hasn't looked at this accident. Check to the form. Check to form and foundation. He's not a reconstructionist. He hasn't looked at this accident. From a design standpoint, I'm not asking you from a reconstruction air, uh, standpoint well, at all. I want you to avoid telling me, is telling me at what speed uh, uh, the accident happened to this lady. And with if, speed, if, if, with if speed. If the speed of the whatever, I don't know the accident. No, I don't know. With, let, me, let me stop you so we understand the question. Whatever speed, I, what I'm saying to you this is, is exactly this. exactly the same question. Susan Klein had a ZJ Jeep Grand Cherokee without a tow package, without a reinforcing bracket, described by Mr. Estes as Exhibit 16 here, without a skid plate, and without a blocker bracket. Can you tell me what, if anything, protected her tank, her fuel tank, in a rear end collision with underride with a passenger vehicle? Check to the form. form and foundation. I have to assume, and I, I don't know enough, but I have to assume that uh, the configuration of this car is one of that that was tested by Chrysler and passed tests that are supposed to pass, like I, I talked earlier, on, uh, earlier at length. I have to assume, and I, I don't know enough, but I have to assume that uh, the configuration of this car is one of that that was tested by Chrysler and passed tests that are supposed to pass, like I, I talked earlier, on, uh, earlier at length. So the car passed the test with or without te such and such accessories, and so that's the way it was released for production. Now, if a car crashed into this lady, poor lady, at an excessive speed that was beyond what we tested for. Nobody can explain what happened. Okay. With or without a tow package, with or without a skid plate, with that everything. Mr. Kessing, what protected her tank if it came in contact with another, if the tank itself was contacted by another vehicle? Check to the floor. Was there any structure of the Jeep ZJ in Susan's, Susan's Jeep ZJ, which protected her fuel tank. Okay. I said earlier, I'm going to repeat one more time, that the Jeep uh, ZJ fuel tank was protected by the body around it. It was not put... Let me finish. Well, I, I, it, it I, was, I, let me finish. It was not protected by the tow package. It was not protected by the skid plate underneath. It was, put, it was protected from stones underneath, but not for the 301 crash that we talked about, or the, the, a real crash. There. So it's the, the, the question that you ask as we ask it does make sense to me.
it was not put, let me finish, well, I, I, it, it I, was, let me finish. It was not protected by the tow package. It was not protected by the skid plate underneath. It was, put, it was protected from stones underneath, but not for the 301 crash that we talked about, or the, the, a real crash. There. So this, this, the, uh, the question that you ask as we ask it does make sense to me. Okay, let, let me make more sense to you. Susan's car had nothing around her tank. She did not have any skid plate, and she didn't have any plate plate, any anything. She had a plastic tank. Are we agreed on that? Assume that. For, no, assume I'm, I'm, I'm going to object to the form because he just stated that there was an entire structure surrounding the tank. I want, I'm going to get to that. I'm getting to that. I haven't, you didn't let me finish the question because I was going to incorporate that into my question. Okay. Uh, the, the problem Mr. is you used the word nothing. Yeah. You All right, word Mr. Keston, Susan's tank itself was visible from the rear. Someone standing behind the car looking at it, you could see the gas tank itself. Mm -hmm. A part of that tank was visible below the bumper. And I want to know specifically, as you sit here today, what structure of the vehicle specifically you say body i want to know specifically a part a structure that protected that portion of the tank that hung below the bumper and was visible to the eye from another car or hitting it i'm going to repeat a bit what i've already said but one more time no i don't want you to repeat what you said i want the specific part I'm asking you specifically. You gave me a general answer and you said the body. I want to know specifically what part of the body protected the part I described to you that is visible and hangs below the bumper and can be impacted directly by another vehicle. Um, the accessories that you talked about uh, have nothing to do with protecting the tank. Whether uh, this. Fine. Let me finish. The, t the tow package does not protect the tank. This, this, the, uh, the question that you ask as we ask it does make sense to me. Okay, let, let me make more sense to you. Susan's car had nothing around her tank. She did not have any skid plate, and she didn't have any plate plate, any anything. She had a plastic tank. Are we agreed on that? Assume that. For, no, assume I'm, I'm, I'm going to object to the form because he just stated that there was an entire structure surrounding the tank. I want, I'm going to get to that. I'm getting to that. I haven't. You didn't let me finish the question because I was going to incorporate that into my question. Okay. Uh, the, the problem Mr. is you Kestan. used the word nothing. Yeah. You used All right. the word nothing. Mr. Kestan. Susan's tank itself was visible from the rear. Someone standing behind the car looking at it, you could see the gas tank itself. Mm -hmm. A part of that tank was visible below the bumper. And I want to know specifically, as you sit here today, what structure of the vehicle, specifically, you say body, I want to know specifically a part, a structure that protected that portion of the tank that hung below the bumper and was visible to the eye from another car or hitting it. I'm going to repeat a bit what I've already said, but one more time. No, I don't want you to repeat what you said. I want the specific part. I'm asking you specifically. You gave me a general answer and you said the body. I want to know specifically what part of the body protected the part I described to you that is visible and hangs below the bumper and can be impacted directly by another vehicle. Um, the accessories that you talked about uh, have nothing to do with protecting the tank. Whether uh, this. Fine. Let me finish. The, t the tow package does not protect the tank. The, the skid plate underneath only protects the tank from stones, from the ground. Fine. So the car, as you describe it, was not the car with nothing. You had the car with all the, stru the back structure around it to protect the tank. And this configuration was tested at the proving ground. What By, uh, back structure? There were, there were what 
what structure protected the portion of the tank that hung below the bumper that I could see when I look at the back of that car and that another car can impact directly? What protected I, that? I, I, how do you know that the car impacted that directly? I'm you not have a, saying... You have, I'm no, not, you, I'm see, I'm if you say something, if you want to be technical, tell me, how do you know that the car impacted underneath the car what you said? I'm asking you to tell me what part of the car protected that portion of the tank that I could see. There but are still Jeep ZJs on the road, correct? All right. All right. I've seen the Jeep ZJs, Mr. Castang, and so have you, and so is everyone here. Uh -huh. And I think my question was really clear, and I'm asking for an answer to be specific as to what portion of the car you referred to when you said the tank was protected. On both sides of the tank, there are the rails. In the back, there is a cross member. And that's just the structure that, it, that, uh, that co avoid the collapse of the back of the car in a crash. It's a cross member, is that what you're saying? Yeah, there's a cross member behind the bumper system that could cross bar there in the back of the, of the car. And it's all part of the rear structure with the opening of the lift gate and a part of a, a strong um, um, structure. And the tank is hung underneath that and protected in case of rear impact from that. Now, I, I, I have to understand, and, and I'm sorry to hear that there was an accident where a car may have find a way to hit that in a certain way that was beyond what we tested for, which has happened in the industry. If a car is designed to pass a test at 30 miles an hour and the car is hitting, hitting the, 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 this particular car at 40 or 50, it may not work. We understand that. If you just give me a minute, I think we can take a break now. Okay.